94 here today doing another figure review and today I will be doing a review on the Pacific Rim NECA um Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger and get him to stand this figure doesn't look like the stand for me now history on this guy let me actually move the Camera a bit closer so you can see him better. I got this guy at Toys R Us for eighteen dollars because the Toys R Us around me is closing January twenty fifth. I'll miss that place. I've gotten so many things from it, but yeah. So pretty nice figure. That's I don't have a lot of history on him, but yeah, I got him with the. Uh, NECA Godzilla 2014 6 inch. Got both of them for around $30, so pretty good deal. But anyway, let's go on to the looks of them. Now, compared to the Series 1, I don't own a Series 1, but I have seen what it looks like. Compared to that, the detail is phenomenal. Now, that was my cat, she sneezed. So, ignore that. <laughs> but, anyway. Um, yeah, so detail's pretty good on this guy. You can see all the lines and stuff and chest. I, I wish that they added the translucent orangish-yellow and stuff like they did on the big version. I wish they added that, like, right here. That would have been so cool. Yeah, but gold up here. Main color scheme's a blue with some white and red. Gun a little gray. Gold on the pistons. All cool kinds of color schemes. And we got 34, although if this is the one from Hong Kong, remember how the arm is ripped off? That should say 35, but it says 34. And this should also have yellow lines down here, but that's just a small technical thing. Not a very big deal unless you're like super movie accurate. Oh, it has to be this way. It has to be that way. All that. So, yeah, back, got the Jets, and what's cool about the Jets is, uh, I think you could see it, gold highlights, so that looks like it's about to go, something like that, I don't know, pretty good figure. Now, articulation, the head, since that collar thing's back here, kind of hinders the move, but it can go down, up, turn slightly to the left. Turn to the right. It's on a ball joint though, so it can move. Each arm. This is when I'm actually going to put the camera down a bit. Or my phone down a bit. So that you can see articulation with two hands. Okay, you can see it. The arms, each of them go 360. Well, at least I think they do. Yeah. And what's cool is these little shoulder pads are on ball joints, so it helps the movement. Right here, they swivel. Arm bends up and down here. And hands rotate. Chest has a little... Can go back. Can go forward. Can twist slightly, but not a lot. Legs. Can go about that far front. About that far back. The knee can bend here. And also right here, they can bend that way. The feet can flap up and down. They can slightly rotate. So yeah. Um, another thing to note on this guy are these little blue pieces. They usually like sit right here. You can pop them off or on. But I'm going to try to pop one on. Just so you guys can see what they do. I mean, I don't like them on for, just because they kind of hinder the movement of the, let me try the other arm, hold on a second, I don't like them on because they kind of hinder movement, in my opinion, but you can, if you want them on, you can have them on, no, I'm trying to put this on, but it's not going so well, basically they sit on like that, 
and you can adjust them to see different sizes and stuff for the arm but I like them off because that's how the arm gets the most movement out of but yeah if it's getting dark out I'm sorry about that um I was doing this without a light this time but yeah so that's it for articulation in my opinion on that I mean the articulation it's average okay the upper part from this part up, articulation is great on the upper part. Really smart with the these being on ball joints. But the legs are pretty crappy. I mean, to get on the stand, it's hard. He usually stands like that hunch position, which looks weird. If you want him to stand in a cool... You can't really have him stand in a straight-up position. He stands like that. Then he falls. It's like... Okay, has to stand like that. It's pretty annoying. Now, for something that everybody wants to see, the accessories. So, excluding these little pieces right here, this guy comes with this. A ship, which, gotta say, detail on a ship is really nice. Got all, you got finger marks where you held it. Green, white. Pretty cool. It would be even cooler if they had like a name on it. Like SS something. Sword. Fully closed. Chain sword. Uh, and two sets of fists. I have him equipped with the other one. And if you want to equip them, that's pretty easy to do. All you got to do is, if you're looking, the hands right here. Literally just pop them off. Like that. See? And just take the other fist and pop it right in here. There it go. And boom. Two fists. And it is getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna bring this guy out a bit. Two fists. And I just realized I had the wrong fists equipped the whole time. And hold on a second. I don't really have, you know, I'll just use this flashlight right now. Because I can't reach my lamp. But yeah. I don't like, it's getting dark like so fast. Uh, well, I'm, I am. But we're not going over detail basically. For the sword. Little slits right there. And you literally just put the sword. Sorry, I, my phone likes to fall a lot. So I usually have to put something because if I don't have something, it just falls over. Which gets really annoying, I must say. But, yeah. So I literally have the breath effect. And the other thing, so that didn't fall over. But you just equip the chain sword to there, and there you go. Chain sword. Now, for the ship, pretty self explanatory, and it is so dark. Hold on a second. I know that I do this a lot, but I just have to sit. But it is way too dark. I can't, I can't even see. It should help just a little bit. I'm not sure if it'll help a lot or not. But. This might help. But for the ship, it's pretty self explanatory. Holes on the bottom. Hands. Gosh, this is so annoying. <sighs> Let me try focusing. Line up the fingers with the hand holes. Pop them in. There you go. And you have him holding it like that. So that he'd just be holding it. 
there you go for the ship. And there goes my thing. You know what? I really. I'm sorry if right now I'm all sloppy in this review. Please forgive me for that. Now, for size comparison, here he is next to a banner creation. King Ghidorah? Ghidorah? Whatever you want to call him. Kind of weird. It doesn't really work with this. Here he is next to probably the best size scaling out of all of them right now. The NECA Pacific Rim Knife Head. Just looks back at, you know, he just took him down or something. He's like attack him and stuff. And if I had a rifle one, he just charged that up. And you can see how I put on the hand backwards. You just, you know, sucker punch him in the nose or something like that. I don't know. So, that's it for this review. Um, a little thing today. I went and have two box days on the way, um, because I ordered two figures, I'm not going to say what they are, you'll find out, um, but they should be here within the week, so I ordered them together on Amazon, but I've never done that, I ordered two at the same time, so I don't know if they'll come together and it's different boxes or anything, but, yeah, so... I have those on the way, and then I'll have another box day on the way soon. A couple, about as soon as that box day happens that week, I'm going to be ordering another thing, so I'll have another box day planned. And for reviews, all I have left are my, I only got two figures left for right now, which is my SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1995, and my Bandai Creation Godzilla 2004 12-inch. That's all I have for now, so I might be doing a let's play if I can figure out how to do it soon. I might be doing it. Yeah, might be. I know it's really late, but I might start a Godzilla Unleashed let's play, and then I'll do the Godzilla PS4 let's play later on. And I plan to figure reviews um, on the new figures I get and unboxings. So yeah, if you like this, um figure review comment subscribe and like on this video it'll be very much appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye